Welcome, everybody, to Civilization Six. It's here, I know, I'm a little bit, well, I'm about a week late um, with, hopefully, this first series. Uh, I did want to have a couple of playthroughs before I got into it. I really wanted to get my head around the district system um, and, you know, city planning and all that before I jumped in. Having said that, uh, I did lose my first game, and that was on Prince Difficulty. It was a... Uh, surprise attack of the Bushido religion um, from Japan. Um, and I just, I, I didn't even know the mechanic for how the religious victory works. Turns out that if you get your religion in a majority of cities in all the opponent's empires, um, you win. So, who will we be embarking on our 6,000 year journey with? Um, I've had a read of all of these previously. A lot of them are pretty interesting, but today, this week, where are we? We're going to play, there's two Greases, Pericles, one extra wild card, 5% culture per city state you're the Caesarean of, um, Hoplite, mm -hmm. and the Acropolis, that is not the Greece that I want, is Gorgio. Again, the extra wildcard policy slot. We'll talk more about that um, when we form a government. Uh, but the combat victories provide culture equal to 50% of the combat strength. Um, so I guess we will be doing war. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, just for those of you that are passionate, um, all victories are enabled. Uh, we're just playing on pretty much standard everything. We're going a continent's map. Um, game difficulty king will start in the ancient From era. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, Listen to, to man Bing. taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization, on towards the stars. Thank you, Sean. Gorgo, Queen of Sparta. Take it away. Glory to you and your loyal hoplite armies. Mm. Greece savors the blessings from Ares that every victory brings, and your people applaud your thoughtful governance and cultural marvels. Stand proud, for the legacy of Greece and of your achievements will be told over and over again for generations. <laughs> I, I guess they may be. I mean, I've got a few subscribers. I don't know about generations and generations, though. I can imagine that. You know, my partner would probably be quite happy about that. Having said that, if you're if you're listening to this, uh, if you could please leave a comment um, for my partner and say something along the lines of, Hi Liz, I know she'd really appreciate it because uh, she hasn't really seen me much in the last week. Been pretty addicted to this game. All right. Um, this is the strategic view. I actually quite like, I did play about half a game on the strategic view. Visually, it's not as sexy, but when, you know, with a big map, mm, it can work. But, we won't go here. Now, settling cities. This looks fine. We're close to a mountain, which is good. And we'll need that for our science district. And we've got a couple of wheats in range. Good for growth, some production and production. And a luxury that will we'll talk more about luxuries, I guess, as they come up and as they're required. Um, Sparta first, right? Production. Still a classic. The Scout, early game. No need to change there from Civ Five. Um, what have we got? We've got mining wheat, probably some animal husbandry or mining. Let's go for mining. I'm pretty sure this is, no, this one, map options, map pins, uh, show yield icons. They're both good tiles. We'll just quickly check that it's working. This doesn't, uh, 10 turns for a scout, but five turns until growth. We'll go for the growth. So one of six housing capacity, because we're near fresh water, um, Immediately, our cities have the ability to grow bigger. Housing capacity refers to um, your 
ability to grow, how many citizens you can have uh, working tiles. And at five or two below the minimum um, of your housing capacity, your city will begin to incur a growth um, a growth penalty. Right, so, needs orders. What shall we explore? Let's come down. Uh, follow the river to the base. Just um, for your own information as well, uh, mountains can be a source of fresh water um, for aqueducts. I'm not actually sure whether or not they can be a source of fresh water if you just plant a city next to them. That's something we could test maybe this game. So keep on moving. Much is happening. Uh, three turns until growth. We've found some flatlands. Good. And keep on moving. So the scout, I think we will head north. Uh, ivory is a luxury resource. Excellent. Um... Each luxury resource gives you four amenities. Um, amenities are divided automatically between your cities. Um, and if you don't have amenities, um, I guess it's the new happiness. It leads to happiness. And I'll tell you where you're getting your amenities from. So at the moment we're getting one from entertainment. Although I'm not sure what we're being entertained by. Probably my use of this warrior. Um, so, because each luxury gives you four amenities, that means that um, it's wise to, I guess, group your cities into bunch bunches of four, I've found. Um, I've also not really found any good reason to play tall. And by tall, I mean having... You know, a minimal amount of cities. Are unique. When you find yourself in a hole, um, quit. So, scouts. Uh, what can we do? We'll go for animal husbandry. Uh, we're looking for... Either to meet another civilization. Find a resource. Yeah. Um... We're also looking for goody huts. Uh, that's pretty handy. Big fan of that. Choose production. Um, monument is always a good start. So is a builder. Just wondering what's going to be more handy. Maybe even a slinger. You can always do a fairly military start. I don't think it really... It kind of does matter actually. Culture 2.7. That'll double it. Fairly traditional, Enacting actually. It is not wisdom, but also... Okay. So, this is um, a new way to, to govern, really. Uh, so, each type of government, um, we're currently in a chiefdom, will get a variety of slots. You can then use policy cards to put in the slots, and they change your empire. So, one of the benefits of playing as Greece, drag and drop a policy. You get a wild card policy, and... Um, in perpetuity throughout your, your age, and those bonuses will obviously increase as time goes on, but they're really... they're not bad, just straight off the bat. And we're going to take double experience for recon, plus one production in all cities, and plus one faith and plus one gold in the capital. Uh, free cash is always good. Um, discover a second continent is probably more likely than... Than us um, improving three tiles. Hey, nice. Um, that's good. So every time you boost a technology or achieve the little quest and once for the particular um, tech, you gain 50% of that tech's uh, that tech's research. So. There will be a way, I think especially probably required at the, the higher levels, um, where you'll really want to focus on optimising your play in the 
pursuing a, you know a way that you play this could be a good second city still got coffee also got tea though that could be quite handy um let's come up part of the the changes include the the movement rules um so if your unit doesn't have a enough movement points to move into the tile, it won't move into it. That is the opposite of how your, your dudes worked or, or moved around the map. Pantanal is the most complex intertropical alluvial plain of the planet, and perhaps the least known area of the world. Nice. There's also a border over here, and um, so that could be a contested settle fairly quickly. Um. I may not actually want to take this fight on. Um. If there are no dogs in heaven. We will finish the... Uh, we'll, we'll finish the monument. Just wondering, looking at all these barbarians, I was thinking to myself, why did I not choose a slinger? Kill a unit with a slinger. Well, um, we'll go for pottery, um, and we'll get the granary out. We do. Woods and forests. Woods and forests it is. Oh, no, it's... Uh, promoting also takes a whole turn. Oh, I think we should go for that goodie heart. Forty bucks from the goodie heart. We'll keep on exploring. Sorry, I was getting. If you let a scout go and it reports back to its base, um, the, the barbarian base knows where you are um, and will begin to spam units. So that's something I'm kind of keen on avoiding, but to be honest, I actually just I, I don't have the units to do it. I can't stop them. They're too far away. And because of the way the movement rules work, I can't, I, you can't catch up to people. Um, if you're of equal speed... Um, the same movement rules apply we are for attacking. By the grace of God, Victoria, Queen of the United Kingdom of Great. I love hospitality. Um, we've also got our boost for riding, which is good. Uh, and we need to discover a second continent. Uh, is it religion continent? Um, have some marble there. Oh, I probably should have accepted that. That's all right. Um, Same color. I feel like our units are the same color. Um, obviously, you can't abide that. That's just not going to happen. Um, putting some points into a settler is probably not a bad idea. We don't need the granary gives you plus two housing, which allows us to increase um, the limit to which our city can grow. But um, like I say, the penalties only begin on five. So I think. Do we put points into a slinger? Do we put points into a settler and do an early settle up here somewhere near the? What do the what are the tiles? Two food, two culture. It's pretty handy. It's a good national park spot. 
um, later on as well. So I think we will try... What do you reckon? Settler or the Slinger? Let's go the Slinger. I don't like it. I chose it, I clicked it, and then I actually... I knew then that I didn't want it. Um, okay. So she can still expand north after this. No man ever wetted clay and then let I mean is it writing let's go astrology. Our city state neighbors have made a rep Mysticism and destroy a barbarian outpost within five tiles. Well, now, uh, Civ 6, your city still grows while you're building settlers. Um, so, you don't have to focus production. That's not a bad idea. It's probably our best tile. That's the positive aspect of trade, I suppose. All right, here we go. We can get the a trade off. Get stirred up together. Uh, I don't think I want any of those. I don't. Um... And a pantheon. Yeah. I'm not going to do that soon. Um, grow your pop to at least. Which is a builder. 200 gold. So, three more turns. Three more turns. And then we'll buy a builder. I want to get probably the stone and these weeds, or maybe the pasture. It requires irrigation, so not for a while yet. Um, Oh, thank you for your delegation. Uh, so, I think they're trying to, I guess, bribe me or say, hey, we like the cut of your jib. Um, have, we, uh, have we found any more continents? Still the same one. Okay. So the continents, uh, especially if you're playing on a Pangea map, will all be quite, they'll be tightly packed, you know, they won't be separated by water. So I'm pretty sure it's possible to have like two continents actually on the same continent, um, you know, or area of land. No, hold it there. One, two, three, four, yeah, I think we can settle there. Okay. We have recently gained advanced knowledge. A physician without a knowledge of astrology has no right to call himself a physician. So here we unlock the first of the districts. Uh, we're not going to kill a unit with the Slinger, because we're building a Settler. Uh, sorry, the research. Are we going to... We've already got the proc for Irrigation. Oh, now I wanted to. I've let that go on too far, haven't I? Um, Pro James Pro. Here we go. Let's 
get a builder. Pretty sure, I don't think that can be take, taken from the city. Um, Good, good, good. So, getting a quarry boosted uh, masonry, which is pretty handy. I didn't actually mean to do that. Eight turns, we're almost halfway. Mm. Farms will also improve housing allowing your city to grow, so for us it's only 0.5 housing, occasionally, it, you know, or every second time it goes up by one. Uh, let's just check the tiles you're working now. You, you, yeah. Good tiles. Good tiles, okay. Um, we are almost done with... Oh, did I attack them? I don't know if I did. Time to get out that slinger, we'll space by you out, and we have to settle up. I actually want to go on forward, settle London, so obviously this is pretty annoying. Um, there's no wonder, but there's an excellent national park uh, end game here. That there's a bit of production, um, some copper, some hills. I think that that'll probably be our second city. The other option is, of course, up here, which is also, I think, excellent. Um, we shall get the tea as well as the coffee. Two serves of tea, one serve of coffee. Um, so I must beat the English there. I mean, there's there's really little choice. The game's giving me a clue. I'm just following through on it. Um, but I think that'll be it for the episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you are... Um, excited about Civ 6. It does actually feel quite different. Um, I'll, I'll try and highlight those for you all where I feel it's, it's different from the last one uh, as the series continues. Thanks so much. See you next time. Bye.